been to the charity shop and I picked up some bargains as usual and the DVDs are now five for one pounds. So I picked up Transporter 2, which is my favorite of the four films. This one at least has some good action in it. Who directed this? Louis Leterrier. Nothing fancy inside, but good to have. And then the rest of Horrors, ready for October. Shaun of the Dead. I'm not 100% sure if I own this or not, but this one's got lots of extras, which isn't bad. It contains strong comic violence. And then another British film, Doghouse. <laughs> Two of these people went on to the better things, I believe, but yeah. Should be interesting to watch. Not 100% sure if I've seen it or not, but I do like Danny Dyer doing comedy rather than hard men. We've got Paranormal Activity 2, which uh, if you saw last year's Paranormal Activities Watch Party, there might be a second one now. Never, <laughs> never before seen found footage. And Zombieland, another one. I couldn't tell if I had it already, but for, what was it, 20p? You can't go wrong. Plus a lot of extras, which is good to have. What's that? Then some books. Some James Bond books. So we got From Russia With Love. I think these are one of the more recent republications, aren't they? Uh, what's the day in this? Uh, it's never obvious, is it? 2006 is not the latest date. I still got that one. I'm not sure if that lady features in the film or the book. And we got Diamonds Are Forever, part of this nice packaging, I should say. James Bond fulfilled every male fantasy. Spectator magazine. I think, yeah. Nice big writing, though, so shouldn't take long if I ever get around to reading them. Now, I got this one already. Which I forgot I did. But it's a bit damaged, but never mind. And then I've got one of the old ones. These are the ones I've been trying to collect. Well, I could have had a hundred of these back 20 to 30 years ago because they couldn't get rid of them fast enough. But now they're quite rare. So this is Moonraker. Um. Yeah, one I don't have in the style. I've got a few of these, but I thought they'd be easy to collect, but they're not. And then finally, one of the ones that was more interesting, The Spy Who Loved Me, the book of the film, rather than the Ian Fleming book. This is the Christopher Wood book. So based on the actual film script, I'm guessing. Hopefully one day I'll find out. For two hour film, there's not much text in there, but there we go. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Here ends the lesson. Standing right next to me Blockbuster star